Gotta go fast. <sighs> da ding. I just got back from seeing Sonic the Hedgehog on Cinemark Perlin XD Theaters. And what do I think of it? It was a blast. But I'll tell you the full plot and my thoughts on this movie, on this review. So yeah. And by the way, this is my first review of 2020's decade. So please enjoy. So today, I'm here today to review Sonic the Hedgehog 2020. Came in the year of this year. So yeah. So the plot is Sonic lives on Green Hills, but then when 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 Sonic heard Longclaw's sacrifice, Longclaw tells Sonic to go to the real world with his rings, and then he met with his best friend Tom. So they go on adventures, and then in the end, Sonic fights fights a battle with Doctor Robotnik, who is who is acted with who is acted by Jim Carrey, to fight against the villains. And then save the universe. So that's basically what the plot is. Sorry that I stuttered a lot. So, what I heard about the Sonic movie? It was a blast! The reason why I really loved this movie because of the action. And best of all, the redesign of Sonic. Because when Paramount first announced the Sonic movie, I was like, hmm, okay. And then, when the full trailer that released... The first trailer that released on April 30th, and I saw Sonic the Sonic, I was like, eh, looks meh. But then, when the new trailer releases for Sonic the Hedgehog, they redesigned it, and I was like, heck yeah, I'm really excited for this movie. But then, when I looked back to the first trailer, I was like, now I think the old design is garbage. The new design is way better. So, yeah. And that's what I thought of this film. The redesign was the best, best thing about this movie. Now let's talk about the story. The story, the the story was really great. The 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 CGI hybrid on Sonic, it was really awesome. The characters, the characters was really great. My favorite character in this movie was the main character, which is Sonic, voiced by Ben Schwartz. In fact, Ben Schwartz did an amazing job voicing Sonic. And I, and I like the way how Sonic calls Tom Donut Lord, because it was a funny quote, so yeah. And and Longclaw, sorry, but this scene may cause us worse, but a little, but it's not a spoiler review, so yeah. So I'm not going to talk about Longclaw this time. And the villain, Dr. Robotnik, it, he was awesome. And he's acted by Jim Carrey. The guy who did the, the hilarious quote, Alrighty then! He was awesome in this movie. The visuals, the visuals are really cool and explosive. It was, it was like, it was like a Michael Bay movie. But, but this movie's not directed by Michael Bay, unlike Bumblebee. And the designs on Dr. Ro Dr. Robotnik's robots. They look really cool as heck. And finally, let's talk about the the final battle scenes. The final battle scenes was epic. Me and my cousin, aka Blast Off Gear 2004, subscribed to my cousin's channel, and it was mind blowing. Sonic has thunder all over him, and it kind of reminds the scene where where Thor gets all of his thunder powers like the scene in Thor Ragnarok which Thor Ragnarok Thor Ragnarok was a decent movie in my opinion so yeah in fact I watched Thor Ragnarok on Netflix like last year I guess and without further ado let's get back on topic this movie 
became the highest grossing film of all time. I mean, I mean, the highest gross, the highest grossing video game movie of all time, and it, de and it dethrones Detective Pikachu. Wow, I was shocked. That movie made like a little over than fifty dollars. It's now on seventy million dollars. I mean, fifty million dollars. So yeah, I sorry that I say that, guys. I cannot believe this movie becomes the highest grossing video game movie of all time, and it did it better than the Super Mario Brothers movie back like in the nineties, I guess. Even though I have not seen the movie. And it dethrones Detective Pikachu. But don't get me wrong, guys. I still love Detective Pikachu. But, but, sorry, Pikachu. Sonic takes the full cake. So, yeah, guys. This movie would have stuck if they stayed with the old design. But glad Paramount listened to their fans and their criticism. They officially redesigned him. Wow. I really enjoyed this movie. I recommend this movie to everybody, including you, Sonic fans, who are watching this video. And if you're a Sonic fan, boom, this this is the movie for you. So yeah, guys, on a scale, 1 to 10 stars, I give the Sonic movie a 10 out of 10 stars. It's an epic masterpiece. And it gets... The seal of epicness and rainbows. Wow. I had literally such a blast for this film. And here is a bonus one. The jokes on this movie was really kind of good, but there were some racist ones, but hey, that's okay. So yeah. So thanks for watching this review. If you want to see more movie reviews from me, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you are new to this channel. And after when I see Sonic the Hedgehog, my next movie I'm gonna see is... Boom! Onward. I'm definitely checking this film out. Because it, it's, it's, it's not gonna be a Toy Story sequel. Be, but still, it's an original movie. And I'm still seeing that film, so yeah. And stay tuned for my another review, like coming on Sunday. And it's gonna be... Farmageddon, a Shonda Sheep movie, which is now here on Netflix, since I already have Netflix. This means I may watch it, like, tomorrow or something. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time!